Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Ultra Sun, where we're doing a Nuzlocke run and we have a trainer school to go to, so let's go. Also, why does Rodom look so sad? You okay, buddy? Okay, I guess poking him does nothing. But hey, we haven't checked out Litten's data. If you try too hard to get close to it, it won't open up to you. Even if you do grow close, giving it too much affection is still a no-no. So what they're trying to say is, it's a cat. Got it. Still open at night? Is that what the trainer school is? Oh, hey Taros, how's it going? Uh-huh. It's true. Okay. I don't know, Rodom. Maybe we'll find trainers at the trainer's school. Yeah, you must have. Don't ring me out too hard. You really like just holding up four fingers, don't you? Sure. Why don't I? Okay. Makes sense. All right. Ooh. Okay. Sure. Sorry, Rodom, I was ignoring you. Actually, before we fight any of the trainers, I guess we'll grab this stuff. But also, we can catch Pokemon here because it's, well, it did say Route 1. Route 1 Trainer School is not the same area as Route 1 Route 1. Ooh, Magnemite! Magnemite is one of my favorite of the original Pokemon so, yeah, I'm pleased. Plus, it gets electric attacks a little bit earlier than Gene here. And it's quadruply a week to ground, so Mudslap ought to do a good job of weakening it for us. Hopefully not killing it. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Just toss a ball here. It's also steel type, which is handy, because immunity to poison. for it. It's frequently the cause of power outages, which is why some power plants send out electrical signals that it can't stand. Okay. How does it cause the power outages? Maybe you should tell us that. Hmm? This little Magnemite will just be named Mac. Not really a pun or anything, it just starts with an M. I was gonna go with something like Magnus, but I think I used that name in the last run. I don't really remember. Hooray! I should probably get some XP. By the way, I will be using the XP share. 
Whoa, seriously? They give us Zora this early? Shame I can't grab it, but Magnus will do just fine for me. Or not Magnus, Mac. Mac will do just fine for me. I'm sorry, Mac. Alright, one more of those. I'm glad I didn't decide to swap. Yeah, I'm going to be using the experience share because really all it does is cut down on grinding. Like, there are people who say that, oh, the experience share makes the game easier. But I can't really agree with that. Because... Is grinding hard? No. Saving time is not the same as making the game easier. It just saves time. Like, time investment and difficulty are two different things. Okay, dark poison. I know this thing's got poison gas, so... We may actually be better off swapping over to Mac. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, we resist pound, so that's nice, too. Oh, that was not much damage. Gonna take, like, another four of those to actually bring it down. Maybe only two more, but... From this point, that is. Depends on our RNG. Good RNG, please. Thank you. Hooray! Oh, that was a lot of special attack. Thunder Wave is pretty great, too. Yeah, by a Magnemite that I found in the tall grass near the school. I do like not having to grind as much, so experience share is a thing. Oh, hey, it's a Meowth. Is this seriously going to happen every time we find something that we haven't seen before? Seems like a potential time waster. Well, not even potential, just seems like a time waster. Especially in a run where I'm not allowed to catch things except for the first whatever. Oh, you bitey little cat. Ooh, it's dark type, which means pursuit is a potential thing. But I'm going to trust that it's not going to happen. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't think Meowth gets pursuit this early. Here, have some flames. Would have been nice if we got a burn there. But this will defeat it. No problem. Okay. So I dare say I'm going to go get me some heals from Lily. Please do. Okay. Let us battle. Really, a bonsai? Ooh, that's a rock type. We don't have anything good against rock type. Because we don't have a water type or a grass type. 
it's good against our bug. And it's also good against our cat. Provided it actually has a rock type move. I guess Mud Slap is my best bet here. I mean, it's something. And the accuracy drop is not bad for us. Yeah, this will go just fine as long as it doesn't hit us with a rock type move. And I mean, every time we use this, the likelihood of it hitting us with anything goes down. Isn't Bonsai a physical attacker? Also, isn't Bonsai dead? Yeah, that, that fake tears didn't really mean much to me. Why would I learn Leer? Like... I mean... Sure, it makes it so that I can do more damage, but... You know what else makes it so I can do more damage? Attacking twice. Plus, if I kill the thing that I've leered, then the effect goes away, whereas Growl keeps me alive, but, eh, it's... Nah, I, I don't want leer. Ooh, yes, please. Yeah, Constrict is pretty terrible. The speed drop is nice when it happens, but, like... Yeah, no, we we don't need Constrict. Oh, that's nice of you. Oh, you meant for your own Pokemon? Is that it? You weren't healing me? It's okay, you didn't hurt me either. What's up with you kids? Wait, you're, you're seriously doing rock, paper, scissors with grass, fire, water? Well, little girl, that really depends on what Pokemon are involved, because sometimes type advantage isn't all you need. For example, if you tossed out a Meryl, let's say, and I tossed out a Primal Groudon, which do you think would win? Here's a hint, it's not the Meryl. But for the sake of your education about type advantages, I'll go ahead and say water. Yeah, I am a great trainer. That's why I was able to tell you all those things beyond the scope of what you asked. Let's take the side entrance. What's in here? Ooh, isn't this where we get the quick claw? No, no, it's not. Ooh. Oh. Seriously, you're making me fight a Metapod? Okay. Now, is it one that was caught as a Metapod, or was it evolved from a Caterpie? Because that makes a big difference in its moveset. Whether it has only Harden or Tackle String Shot and Harden. But, I suppose we'll find out, potentially. Okay. Well, that only tells us that it is, in fact, a Metapod. There's that Orenberry she was talking about. This Metapod continues to be a Metapod. Surprising nobody. Yep, that Metapod is, for reals, a Metapod. You want to ever use anything other than Harden? Are we just hardening forever? I think she caught this thing as a Metapod. In which case, let's burn it. That doesn't target physical defense, and also the Metapod is weak to it, so like... Oh, it was caught as a Caterpie! Maybe consider using attack moves before giving your opponent the chance to swap to a fire type, hmm? Uh, 
These children need to learn strategy. Ooh. Uh, you can't give orin berries to things that are already fainted. But I will accept these. Thank you. Can we read this? No, we can't. What if we sit in the seat? Oh, we, we can't do that either. How about this? Can we read it? It's wide open. Why can't I read books? Did I not learn how to read? I don't know, but I wish it was me. Because they're probably still usable, I would think. Good job reading, kid. What's this? Uh-huh. Okay, bye. Ooh. Yep. All right, let's see what our speeds are looking like here. 14, 24, 12, and 11. All right, let's give the quick claw to the slow one. Oh, we gotta do that. Quick claw for you, little buddy. The real question is, how is there not enough space for me to sneak on by here? Just because this kid's yelling at the Meowth. Why do you like to park it at the base of the stairs, kid? You could yell at the Meowth from over here and let people actually go up, but no, you're a jerk. Let's go ahead and get some heals, mainly to replace lost PP. And then, I think I want to get Mac up front, considering he is, well, it is the lowest level of our Pokemon. And then we got to fight this guy. I sure did. Oh, is it? Its abilities intimidate, right? When I've got a special attacker out front, I'm shaking in my boots here, kid. Oh no, my physical attack stat. What will I do other than not use it? Seriously? Rap? You're using a rap? Not a fantastic move, though it can be a little dangerous because it prevents me from switching. Which means if Mac here gets low on health, I need to heal him rather than swap him out. Oh. Uh, let's use a thunder er, wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's thunder wave right here. Okay, if you're using rap again, that's totally fine. That means we're not in danger. How do you use bite and like crit or something? Could have been nastier. That that thunder shock should let us outspeed it. And I dare say I need some health because I don't want to lose this little guy. Having immunity to poison on my team is good. All right, more Thundershock time. Yeah, we outspeed it when it's paralyzed. 
Or maybe that's the, or no, it would say it if it was the quick claw that let us go first. Yeah. Thunder Wave is really paying off for us. Hooray for levels. Yeah, it's almost as though I didn't use my physical attack. Okay. Seriously, work up. It's not even a good TM. Can I have something better, please? What kind of school has its bell ring at 8 p.m.? Okay. I didn't do anything terrible. Yes, please. And no, Rodom, I'm not in trouble. They're just calling me to call me, I guess. Thankfully, the kid and the Meowth are out of the way of the stairs now. Okay, so, second floor office. Uh, here? This isn't an office. Oh. Oh, I thank you. Okay. Well, this looks more office-y, but it also looks kind of like a computer lab. Okay, so... I was called to the second floor office. Where is the office? Do you know where the office is? Yeah, I did do that. Okay. Is this stairwell your office? Like, for reals, do you call this an office? Is that what's going on here? But sure, let's, let's go. Are you using a Poplio? Because if so, I got some bad news for you. Some magnetic news. Some magnetic news. Well, let's toss out a thundershock. Okay, Poplio's faster. Looks like it'll take two hits to get us into danger. So let's use a Thunder Wave here. Potentially buy ourselves more time down the line. Yeah, that could potentially buy us more turns, which is good. Because every time we use a potion, we're going to take about 10 damage thereafter. And that's not sustainable because that means that we have to use a potion every other turn. But with it being paralyzed, then some turns it won't be able to act. And in fact, we could toss in a supersonic, but actually two thunder shocks will be enough to bring it down. So let's just go for that. Pretty 
Paralysis isn't doing much for us. Ooh! We were faster than it. So we can bring it down. There we go. Take that, Poplio. I'm glad we found a Magnemite. Made that fight a lot easier than it probably would have been otherwise. I know, right? Nah, I've got my uh, trials to do. Is it Pokeballs? Ooh, it's Great Balls. That's very nice of you. Oh, hey, Kukui. How about what? Really? How do you how do you make your words turn red when you say them? Like I want to say words and have them be heard as being red. Also, do you really think yourself that important that you say your title in red text? D did you just call yourself like Captain Elima? Is that what happened? Yeah, that's me. Thanks. I'm sure you do. Perhaps I will, though I think I can only get like, well, Probably two, maybe even three more Pokemon on the way to his trial, actually. I hope you look forward to me beating it, too. What guy's Taros? Wait, who did you tell to give that announcement? Because no one on screen right now was holding anything that would let them broadcast that over the school. What What's going on here? First, there's no second floor office, and then just that happens. I will. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Uh, I mean, I'll give them some berries, maybe. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to use that TM. It's garbage, kid. Will do. I mean, I guess. Sure. Hi. What do I know? Are you just going to keep walking until you reach the Taros? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. I mean, I guess I am? Oh. Yep, it's still there. Muar. Hi. Oh, is it your Taros? Yeah, sure, I'll pet the Taros. Uh, to pet the face. Whoa. Is Bo good? Oh, Bo is good.
What places will I go, hmm? You realize your Taurus is walking off without you, right? Is that safe? And where did riding on it come into play here? Uh, city. That we should. Okay. It's a pretty neat tower they got. Why can't we explore that? I thought you were hungry. Yeah? Sure. Is it to say Alola and do like a rainbow kind of motion with your hands? It sure is. Oh, but you also like tilt your head slightly to the right. Didn't you just see me give it a try? Okay, let's let's check out this beach. Because there's things like this. I like getting things like that. Um if you call that beauty, uh I guess. Seems like there should be something here. But alas, there is not. So you'd rather him throw a hard object at you? That seems suspect. You sleeping? That's true. Hmm. Wait, you're asking it to leave you alone, but in the little cutscene we saw moments ago, you ran into the water and waved at this slowpoke. Which implies that you are friends with it and not that you want it to leave you alone. <laughs> like, seriously, what's the point of this city being so big if we can't explore the buildings? We came here together. How did you... D weren't you going to go get food? Is it getting my Pokedex upgraded so that I can take pictures that I don't care about? I bet it is. I mean, for certain definitions of awesome, maybe. That's the whole instruction manual? Like, it's not going to tell you how to take the photos or anything? It's just, hey, this is how you turn it on? It doesn't sound like a very helpful instruction manual.
Yeah, but I can't use it as a Pokemon partner, which is unfortunate. Wonder what stats a Pokedex Rodom would have. Are they? Because in my experience, they're a bunch of low-res garbage. I would. Sure. Oh. What is my trainer ID? One three oh eight eight six. Neat. And hey, this guy's just got a perfectly neutral nature. Ooh. This guy's got a special attack boosted. That could be useful, but apparently his regular attack is higher, which is eh. All right. And what's going on with you? And you want me to catch 10 different things? I'm listening. Yep, it's going to be a while before I can do that for you, buddy. It is for a while. Seriously, you just you just let kids back here? I guess. Okay. Well, actually, it's about time for this episode to be over, so that's it for this episode. Join us next time when we start exploring the city. See you then, friends.